in the last lecture we were solving goal programming problems using the graphical method for those problems that had only two decision variables and the rest of the variables were the deviation variables. Now, today we will take an example that has more than two decision variables and more deviation variables and try to solve this using the simplex algorithm. So, we will the, the objectives are minimize eta 1 plus eta 2 plus rho 3 and then rho 4 and eta 5 subject to these set of constraints. Now, because eta 1, eta 2 and rho 3 are part of the first part of the objective function, the objective function has three parts. The first part contains these three, which implies that these three constraints are the rigid constraints. So, we start the simplex algorithm by considering this objective function and only the rigid constraints to begin with. So, we can set up the simplex table like this. which will have x 1, x 2, y 1, y 2, eta 1, eta 2, eta 3, rho 1, rho 2, rho 3 and a right hand side. So, we can start the simplex table this way with when we write this x 1 plus y 1 plus eta 1 minus rho 1 equal to 20, x 2 plus y 2 plus eta 2 minus rho 2 equal to 20, 4 x 1 plus 3 x 2 plus eta 3 minus rho 3 equal to 90. So, we could start with this and we want to minimize eta 1 plus eta 2 plus rho 3. So, this is what we want to minimize. So, this is how your first simplex table will look like. Because every constraint is an equation and every constraint has an eta or a rho, simply starting with eta 1, eta 2, eta 3, the etas will always qualify to be initial basic variables and etas will have an identity matrix associated among themselves. For example, if you can have eta 1, 1 0 0, 0 1 0, 0 0 1, you can do that. And then your first simplex table will look like this with a 1 for eta 1, with a 1 for eta 2 and a 0 for eta 3 with value equal to 40 here on the right hand side and then all these are zeros so you calculate your cj minus zj or zj minus cj you could calculate any one of them but you should remember that it's a minimization problem and also remember that we have not converted it to a maximization problem we are solving the minimization problem as it is so, if you evaluate C j minus Z j the usual way, you will get 1 into 1, 1. So, this will become minus 1, this will also become minus 1, this will become 0, this will become no, this will become minus 1, this will also become minus 1, this will become 0, this will become 0, this will also become 0. You will get a plus 1 here, you will get a plus 1 here and you will get you will get a 1 here and 40. So, it is a minimization problem you have calculated C j minus Z j. So, for a minimization problem what will happen a negative C j minus Z j will enter. So, you could enter either this or this or this or this and so on and maybe you can start with this and then compute your thetas and proceed in your simplex iteration till you reach the optimum solution. For want of time and because of our own familiarity, we will not go through the simplex iterations. We would only give you the optimum table 
and then see something interesting from the optimum table. So, the optimum table alone will look like this. This will actually happen after three iterations and you will finally, get something like this. You will have x 1, y 1, x 2 with 0, 0 and 0. You will have 1, 0, 1, y 1 you will have 0, 1, 0 x 2 you have 0 0 1 y 2 minus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 1 eta 1 0 1 0 eta 2 minus 3 by 4 3 by 4 1 eta 3 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 0 rho 1 0 minus 1 0 rho 2 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 1 and rho 3 minus 1 by 4 1 by 4 0 15 by 2 25 by 2 and 20 with z equal to 0 the c j minus z j values will be 0, 1, 